It's a butchery. It's always been there. What have you got against it all of a sudden? It's not that. I haven't got anything against it, but Benny Bunny's frightened of butchers. So would you be if you were a rabbit. <laughs> if you'd left your rabbit at home as I'd asked you to do, then you wouldn't need to worry about it being frightened by butchers. All right, then. Let's cross the road. Alice, stay here. Watch out, girlie. Oh! We nearly lost you, child. Yes, I was lucky. Yes, very lucky. Thank you very much for warning me. Anyone would have done the same, little girl. Next time, be more careful when you cross the road. I will. Excuse me, but what are you doing here? Alice, it's not proper for a young lady to be so inquisitive. <laughs> We're building a new wall, that's all. We're bricklayers. Oh, I see. Look, I'll show you how it's done. First cement, then a brick. Oh! Oh! Why isn't that man helping you with your job? Alice! He's our boss. You won't catch him getting his hands dirty with this sort of work. Oh, no. If he isn't sitting there dozing in the sun, he's yelling at us and shouting orders. I hate taking orders from anyone. <gasps> when they come from the Queen of Hearts, you'd better take them and obey them. What? I refuse to carry out such an unreasonable request. What's the Queen of Hearts ordering him to do? She's ordered him to vacate the wall within 30 minutes, or he knows what to expect. But she can't do that. The wall's in a bad state and collapsing, so it's our job to repair it. But Humpty Dumpty never stops complaining and interfering. He'll have to go. It's my right to complain. So would anyone who saw the mess you fellows are making of this job. Uh, orders are issued to be obeyed. I refuse to set foot on this ladder. It's too shaky. Leave us no choice. We'll have to tell Her Majesty that you refuse. And you know what the consequences will be. She expects everybody to behave like her obedient servant. Oh, help! I'm losing my balance! Help! I'm falling! Someone help me! Oh! I'll help you, Humpty Dumpty! Oh. It's all right, Humpty Dumpty. I'm here. I'll hold the ladder for you. You needn't be afraid. Oh, I, I can't. You, you can, can? Or do you, or do you want, want to face, face the, the Queen of Hearts? Hearts? Oh, no, I couldn't face the Queen. Well, perhaps a change of scenery will be beneficial to my health. Here we go. Slowly now. Don't rush it. Take it one at a time. No! You're being very difficult about this. That's right. Don't be nervous. At last, some excitement today. Humpty Dumpty's coming down from his wall. This is really a major event. I've never been so 
so far away from home before. My wall's my home and I shouldn't be asked to leave it. Stop whining and pull yourself together. It's breaking my heart. I can't. You can do it if you want to. <laughs> How do you feel, Humpty Dumpty? Well, I was very frightened at first because my feet aren't used to the ground, but now I'm much more confident. There, you see. With enough willpower, you can do anything you want. Huh. In that case, it shouldn't be too hard for me to find a new home for a few days. <clears throat> I'm sure each and every one of my friends will be delighted to have me as a guest. What? Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's deliver. I've got to see a man. I knew it, as the saying goes, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Uh-huh. Hmm. How are you today, little Bill? Thank you for asking. I'm all right, Humpty Dumpty. And how are you? Let me give you a hug, dear friend. <coughs> Why are they all running away from me? Huh. Who needs them anyway? They can all go and jump in the lake and catch a cold for all I care. I'm going to visit my friends in Wabe. Arrived. Well, please be more specific. In Wabe, of course. Didn't you say you wanted to visit your friends in Wabe, Humpty Dumpty? They're saying we're welcome, but they're asking us the reason for our visit. We've come all this way because we've got a big favor to ask, and it's very important. He wants to know what favor? Humpty Dumpty needs a place to stay while his wall's being fixed. Could he stay with you for a while? <laughs> what about Tweedledum and Tweedledee? I'm sure they'd be glad to have you stay. I wouldn't dream of staying with those unbearable brats. They fight all the time. The Duchess has got lots of room in her mansion. Don't you know how the Duchess greets her visitors? By throwing frying pans at their heads. Much too dangerous. I couldn't take that risk with my delicate, fragile shell. Then why not ask the Queen of Hearts and you can stay at the castle? Hmm? Hmm. Let the audience begin. You may approach, approach Your Majesty, Majesty the, the Queen. Queen. My dear friend. Oh, no, that's all I need. Soldiers, close the doors at once. It's the very first time Humpty Dumpty's come to visit me. Won't you allow him in, dear heart? I'd be so happy to see him. Mm, you will never change. Soldiers, open the doors. You, you may approach, approach Your Royal Queen. Majesty. Oh, dear, I'm convinced I'm making the biggest mistake of my life just listening to you. A mistake I shall always regret. Humpty Dumpty, come to my arm. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen each other for ages. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? I wanted to ask you for permission to stay in the castle for a while. In my castle? But, of course, Humpty Dumpty, I'd be delighted to give you hospitality. Is that wonderful? Not only is my best friend Humpty Dumpty visiting me for the first time, but he's even agreed to be our guest for a while. Well, isn't that splendid? You may want to live under the same roof as your friend, but there's no reason for me to feel the same way towards him. In fact, I don't feel the same way towards him. Why do you always let her contradict you like this? I wouldn't stand for it. What was that you said? Nothing, dear. He didn't even open his mouth. Humpty Dumpty's come to see you because he's obeyed your orders. Whatever do you mean? I didn't ask him to come here, did I? Mm -hmm. I saw your written orders with my own eyes. You ordered him to leave his walls so that your workmen could carry out repairs. In obeying your orders, he lost his home, and now he's got nowhere to stay, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. You can't expect him to sleep under a bridge. Mm -hmm. It's no good trying to hide your generous nature. I know you haven't got it in you to throw Humpty Dumpty out into the street. Well, since you put it that way, let him stay in the North Tower.
Which is my chair? Oh, I'll take this one. Are we going to get something to eat at last? I can't tell you how happy I am that you're staying with us, Humpty Dumpty. I'm overjoyed. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, do forgive me, but the Queen of Hearts wouldn't appreciate Speaking you. Speaking of your good wife, why is she so late? It's very rude of her to keep her guests waiting. I'm sorry to have to say this to you, my friend, but you're the one who's being rude. I demand to eat right now. My stomach's been grumbling for hours. Get off the throne. What a fool I am. I should never have given in on this. Why did I extend my hospitality to Humpty Dumpty of all people? Hmm? Oh. 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 Told you come here at once. Yes, Your Majesty. What is the meaning of that? With Your Majesty's permission, that's Humpty Dumpty's underwear hanging out to dry. Hmm? Yeah, he hang his washing from my tower. He's going too far. I won't tolerate it. If he doesn't remove his washing at once, I'll throw him out of my castle. There's a quick, 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 quick. Uh, calm down, my friend. What are you trying to say? <coughs> hmm? Am I correct in assuming that the King of Hearts has explained to you you're sitting on my throne? Hasn't he asked you to leave it for me? Yes, but there's no shortage of chairs here and they're all empty. Take your pick, Your Majesty, and sit yourself down. This may come as a surprise to you, but I prefer this chair to all the others. Get <coughs> up! Oh, <Humpty>. oh. <coughs> <coughs> That could have been very dangerous. I know it could have been dangerous. In future, I'd be grateful if you keep your unnecessary remarks to yourself. Oh. <clears throat> Think about the essential things. For example, what are we going to eat next and why are we still waiting for it? I recommend you try the salad on our queen. It's our speciality. As a rule, I'm not fond of salads, but I'd eat it if you can't offer me anything better. I'm much too hungry to refuse, but what makes it so special? You'll soon find out. For one thing, our salad can fly. <laughs> <laughs> It's delicious. It's a fantastic salad. My compliments to the chef. It's the first time in my life I've ever enjoyed a salad. Mm. Oh! Early today, Mama. Didn't you sleep well? Sleep? I didn't sleep at all. I'm sorry, my precious heart. I didn't mean to scream at you. I couldn't get any rest because of Humpty Dumpty snoring. Has Humpty Dumpty come to live with us forever? Certainly not. He's been staying with us for over a week now, hasn't he? We've got your father to thank for that. He treats Humpty Dumpty like a long-lost brother. Oh! What's the matter, Your Majesty? Who dares use up all the hot water? I hate cold showers. It was your friend Humpty Dumpty, Your Majesty. He had a shower before you, I'm afraid. Did he now? Uh, will you please hand me my bath towel before I catch my death of cold? Yes, Your Majesty. Hmm. Oh, this isn't my bath towel. Can't you see it's much too small? Well, Humpty Dumpty asked me to give it's it to him. my bath towel! Uh, yes, Your Majesty. He asked me to give it to him, so I did. Are you sure he asked for my towel? Of course I'm sure. That's why I gave it to him, Your Majesty. Mm, now I'm really furious. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's about time I had a serious talk with Humpty Dumpty. He's pushed me too far. He's forgotten that I'm the host and he's the guest. Oh, 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 oh
dropped the soap on the floor and didn't bother to pick it up. I regret to tell your majesty that it must have been his friend, Humpty Dumpty. Oh. want in here? Uh, I, I, I have something to tell you, Humpty Dumpty. Well, go ahead. I'm listening. I'm shocked at the state of your room. It's a real pigsty. Don't you think it's time you tidied it up? If you came here just to tell me that, you can go away. I've no time for that sort of thing. Oh! Hello. Good morning, Humpty. Oh, hello, Joker. Glad to see you. Come in, come in. I'm so bored, I can't stand it anymore. I mean, what else is there to do here but eat and sleep? You can clean up your room for a start. Your Majesty, I didn't know you were here. Come on, Joker, tell me a funny story to keep me amused. I know a funny story that makes everybody laugh. Many years ago, His Majesty the King of Hearts gave the Queen of Hearts a broom as a gift for her birthday. Why don't you tell the story of the scrambled eggs? It's much funnier. Later, Your Majesty, when I've warmed up a little. Now, the Queen of Hearts was happy with her present, but when she got onto the broom, it just wouldn't mm -hmm. budge. It was only a broom for sweeping, not flying. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> I can hardly believe Humpty Dumpty's only been staying with us for a week. No, it feels more like a year, doesn't it? Only one week and he's managed to change our entire lives. <laughs> Have you changed your mind about Humpty Dumpty? I thought he was your best friend. He was once, but not anymore. How it's over. A true friend wouldn't use up all the hot water in the morning. A true friend wouldn't steal your bath towel or leave the soap on the floor and make you slip on it. A true friend wouldn't monopolise the time and attention of my court gesture. He won't even let me choose which jokes I want to hear. I've had enough. I'm going to tell him that I want him out of my castle once and for all. Oh, at last. <laughs> It will be my pleasure to show him to the door on your behalf. Good morning. She didn't answer me. Have I done something to upset her? She's on her way to throw Humpty Dumpty out of the castle. Oh, why are you so happy about it? I thought Humpty Dumpty was your best friend. He was once. He's no longer my best friend. Hmm. Oh. And I thought Your Majesty would stand up for his friends, but I must have been wrong. Be quiet, Charles. Humpty Dumpty's only got himself to blame. What? Oh. 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 oh, no, Humpty Dumpty's toppled over. Humpty Dumpty's toppled over? Oh, oh. He needs help. Why are you standing there? Go and help him. Why must it always be me? Because he's your friend. You can't turn your back on a friend when he needs you. Mm. You've trusted each other for ages and enjoyed each other's company. How can you suddenly forget all that and walk away just because you're angry with him? I don't think that's in your nature. You're right. I shall miss Humpty Dumpty's company and the good times we had together. You sound as if you'd given him up already, Your Majesty. I can't believe that. No. You're angry now and you're disappointed and that's why you're trying to convince yourself that you don't like Humpty Dumpty anymore. But you wouldn't want to be without him. You can't give up a friend just like that. Are you saying I'll never be able to forget him? That's right. You can't forget someone who's been your best friend, Your Majesty. You'll always remember him. Mm-hmm. It's true he has behaved very badly in the last few days. But it's up to me to forgive him because I'm wiser than he is. Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Don't fret, Humpty Dumpty. I'm your friend and won't desert you. Sound the alarm throughout the castle. It's an emergency. Order all horses saddled and ready. I want all carriages dusted down and brought to the main gates. This is not, repeat, not an emergency. Hurry up, we must save my friend Humpty What's Dumpty. What's got into him? Why is he so excited? Hmm? Stand up and be counted, my men. Show me how brave you are. Humpty.
Humpty Dumpty needs us. Come to his rescue. Save his life. I made a mistake in thinking I got rid of Humpty Dumpty once and for all. How stupid of me. favor and stay on your wall. Never come down from it again. You've got my word on that. I like it here. I do feel at home on my wall. And may I add, Your Majesty, you've done a superb job in renovating it for me. I'm very grateful to you. <laughs> and thank you for everything, my friend. Mm. Don't mention it, dearest friend. All is forgiven and forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> what do they say, Benny Bunny? All's well that ends well. <laughs> what makes you think it's the end, Alice? Humpty's always having a crisis of some kind. <gasps> Be careful, Humpty Dumpty. Don't fall down. Hey, you woke me up. I won't fall down, and in any case, my name's not Humpty Dumpty. help it if you look just like him. <laughs> Would you mind telling me just what it is that you find so funny? Perhaps I can join in the joke, young lady. No, it's nothing. Alice, come along now. Yes, Daddy. You shouldn't have made fun of that man, Alice. It was very rude. He can't help the way he looks. It's not his fault. I know I wasn't very polite, but he looked like a hard-boiled egg on two legs. What? I like your comparison. I know I shouldn't laugh, but it's really very funny. <laughs> Do you know what he reminded me of? A character from a nursery rhyme, someone called Humpty Dumpty. Just as he goes, he spends all his time sitting on top of a wall. Humpty Dumpty is an egg. <laughs> have I ever told you the story of Humpty Dumpty, Alice? Yes, Daddy, you have. And do you know what? I've actually met Humpty Dumpty. Have you really? When? Where? In our next episode, we want to tell you the story of how Alice reacts when she hears that her parents have decided to send her to music lessons because they want her to learn to play the flute. The prospect doesn't appeal to Alice in the least, as she'd much rather spend her time dreaming of Wonderland and all her friends there. But even in Wonderland, Alice cannot get away from the subject of music. It seems that a mysterious flute player has managed to slip in unnoticed and is now playing his instrument day and night. The poor people of Wonderland can't get any rest anymore because he never stops playing. But he's such a sweet boy that in the end everybody's happy to forgive him. Even the Jabberwocky, who discovers that he actually can't live without the beautiful music anymore. So join us next time for more fun with Alice.